Hi Leo, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a, a couple things I want to highlight in the description box. Uh, I am giving away a free personal reading each month. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber. Give the video a like and leave a comment. Also, um, below details on how to contact me for a personal reading. Also, um, I have started posting, posting again to my Meditation Relax Calm channel. So check it out if you like. All that information is below. And with that, Leo, let's get started here. Going to pull one card here from the Romance Angel. See what the energy is here. Okay. So we have Free Yourself. Take Back Control of Your Life. And I'm going to pull another card here. Okay. We have Express Your Love go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right. Now, I'm just going to say for some of you, I feel the energy here. You could just be feeling stuck in your love life, right? Not feeling like there's been a whole lot of movement or action. Some of you I get here too. There could be somebody here that, um, you know, you have feelings for and maybe you're waiting for this person to make a move towards you. So we're going to pull some uh, Lover's Oracles, we'll pull some Tarot, and then we'll pull some Kipper cards as well. Okay, so we have here Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Uh, so I do feel like there's a soulmate energy around you at this time, Leo. Let's pull a couple more cards here. We have uh, passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. All right. So you may not know it, but your energy here is very magnetic and attractive at this time. So know that. Okay. Two cards came out. And like I said here, I felt soulmate energy around you. It says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Yes, I was already feeling that there is definitely someone here around you. And then the last card that popped out here is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So what I get here, uh, Leo, no matter where you are in your love life right now, I feel like you may be thinking too much about it, okay? So it's kind of that energy of letting go, having faith and trust, right, that your soulmate is coming in here for you because you got that soulmate. The person is already around you, even if you haven't met this person. All right, there's your energy. First card out. So let me pull your cards and then we'll go through this. Some of you, I feel like this could be somebody, right, that you already have interest in or, um, you know, you're wanting to reconcile. And some of you, it's just, you know, new love. You're just feeling stuck in love, right? Haven't and it could also be a new person here, too, that you have interest in, okay? But you're not really, you know, you're, maybe you're not sure that they're interested or not. Let's see what else comes out here. Another Leo energy there. Scorpio energy. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay. I see someone coming toward you, Leo. I see communication and pull one more card here. Okay. All right. You know, Leo, what I get here, just overall looking here, I feel either some of you have been, you know, having a hard time letting go of a past situation. And some of you, I feel like you've just waited for the right person to come in your life. And I see someone, uh, a soulmate energy around you. So let's go through this. In your energy, we have the strength card, we have the magician, and we have the seven of pentacles, okay? So again, like I just feel this energy here of, you know, you feeling stuck. You've been waiting for uh, your soulmate here to come in. And I feel like though, even though... You know, you may be wanting a particular person or someone new to come into your life. 
it feels like Leo, you're not doing a whole lot as far as taking any action. Okay. And what I mean by that is that if you're single and you're wanting love to come in your life, right, there's certain things that you have to do. And so uh, it, you know, maybe online dating, it may be, you know, just going to places that you love to do going out with friends. So there's an energy here, you know, it's not always just going to fall in your lap, <laughs> so to speak. So I feel like Spirit is telling you here, right, there's some sort of action that you need to take. Um, the Magician is not just about manifesting. It's also about, you know, knowing that you have everything that it takes to make things happen in your life. So you have to manifest it. To manifest it, you need to have intention, right? Putting the intention out there. What do you truly want to happen who is this person you want to come into your life what um you know what is their characteristics and i feel too there's a need here that i feel like maybe you're not um putting yourself out there enough i feel to attract this person okay but i do feel like there is somebody here a king of cups could be scorpio energy we also have here could be another leo a Pisces, a Cancerian are the main energies that I'm picking up here. But in the energy of your soulmate here, we have the Sun card, we have the Death Rebirth card, and we have the High Priestess. What I'm feeling here, we got the Three of Swords here, and we have the Three of Wands, okay? Some of you, I feel like this could be somebody that... Like I said, you could be waiting for, not that you're sit you're sitting and waiting, but maybe you're waiting for someone to express something to you. I feel like this could be somebody too who recently came out of a love relationship um, is what I'm seeing here. Um, but what I want to say here too with the sun card, I feel like this person is is ready. And so when I say come out of a relationship, it could be in the last year, uh, you know, even two years here. But you got the high priestess here. So for a lot of you, I feel like this is somebody that you don't know. Um, like I said, we have the king of cups here. I feel like this is somebody who is emotionally uh, secure. Um, if, if you feel like this person is already around you, I don't feel like this person has expressed yet their interest or their feelings. We have the eight of wands, we have the unknown card, and we have the nine of wands, okay? I feel like, uh, Leo, the wait is almost over in your situation. I feel like there's somebody coming towards you here. And that's why you have the trust here. It's telling you trust and have faith, basically because it's going to automatically happen here, all right? As long as you're putting yourself out there. Now, if you're already, you know, have interest in someone that may be already in the works, you may already be manifesting that. But we're gonna get some more details here with the Kipper cards. Okay, well, look at that. First card out, great fortune, abundance, nice energy there. Things going in your favor, look at that. Lucky energy there, sudden wealth. You could be doing good with uh, money or there could be um, unexpected money coming your way on a side note. Okay, high honor. I love that card because that tells me that I feel the person that is coming towards you is honest. Someone who is honorable could even be somebody um, who holds some sort of position where maybe they're in a uniform um let's see what else we have here okay interesting we have bad health and i'm not going to say anything until i pull a couple more cards okay all right so interesting you have bad health you have main uh male and you have occupation you know there's a lot of you out there so i get i pick up two things i feel like for some of you um you could meet this person um through work or your occupation or whatever you do uh, i feel like it's an energy here too that you're not you're going to feel like you're not too sure if this is going to be a good thing or not right uh dating someone who you work with or maybe you already know of somebody here that you work with that's the first thing that i get the other thing that i get here is that 
there may be somebody on your mind, somebody that you feel is the one. And I feel like what Spirit is saying here with that bad health card, it doesn't feel like it's a healthy connection or relationship. I feel there's a new person, somebody you don't really know coming in for you. I'm going to pull a few more cards. Okay, look at that. Privileged lady, beautiful energy there. Definitely an energy of the Empress. Let's see what else we have. We have community. And we have judication. So judgment, basically judgment energy there. Okay, and we also have here child. So if you're wanting a child, I see a child here in your future here with that card. So I get here um, that... I feel, Leo, there is somebody new coming in your life, and I feel that if you have been stuck or you feel like somebody has kept you stuck in the past, that I feel like that connection or relationship is not healthy, and I feel like you're manifesting something very beautiful here with the privileged lady, okay? You do have community here as well, so I feel this is someone who lives local. I don't feel like this is somebody at a distance, this person, I this soulmate energy around you, and I feel like this person is somebody who too is also a very hard worker. I'm going to say I feel like with that judication, that can be that judgment call. So maybe some of you are making a decision right to put yourself out there in new love. But I feel that this could be somebody for their occupation. This could be be somebody who works with the law in some sort of way. So they could, like I said, they could even be right enforcing the law. Uh, you know, I do sense here military as well, but they could actually, they could be, you know, they could be an attorney or they could work in the justice system or something like that is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's, I'm going to pull a few more uh, romance angel cards and just see what else comes out for you. So I feel, um, Leo, this person, this new person coming into your life, I almost feel like this, this is someone to help you stop thinking about something else, okay? But like I said, it could just be that you are stuck. Okay, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, look at that. Children, I talked about a child. So uh, you may be destined to have children with this person if you're wanting children. And then you have new love. So I definitely feel that this is new love. And look what you have again. You also have the passion card, which you have here. And bottom of the deck here, you have clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now, right? I talked about manifesting, knowing what you want, because if you're caught up in your head overthinking a situation, going over and over in your head about something, you're not really manifesting, right? There's, it's kind of like that worry energy and we attract what we think about. And look at this, you got engagement. And you also have here trust, okay? Second card here with trust. So Leo, I feel like there is somebody new coming in. This person lives locally. This person's emotionally secure. I get the energy here too. I've got to look back here. Like I said, they could work in the, in the uh, legal industry or they may enforce law or something to do with that. I mean, they could even, uh, you know, this could be somebody who is going uh, to school as well, uh, working towards, uh, you know, maybe a law degree or something in that field here or the military, right? I feel like um, if you were dealing with a toxic situation or a bad situation, I feel you're meeting this person for a reason. So it's really nice energy here for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.